Hello guys, um, this is Henry Ramirez from uh, Mexico City and uh, this is, this will be my video presentation and um, as you can see on the screen this will be about Google Analytics and how important or useful it is to use Google Analytics in our websites and how it actually works I'm not going to talk about much about the performance or um, how to use the tools because I don't really know much about it I haven't used it yet but after studying about Google Analytics I guess I will use it in the future in my websites and uh, at the end of the this lesson or this presentation you will see the importance of using Google Analytics as a tool for um, your websites now um, your website has uh, a lot of visitors but there is a main question um, do you actually know the visitors do you know them you know what are they from um, what uh, which devices are they using to visit your your site you know the information about them their ages um, um, as I mentioned before their countries or anything about them do you actually know that there are visitors uh, going to your website or how do you plan to measure the uh, the uh, success of your website if it is actually working good or um, if it is achieving the goals or the purposes of its uh, creation now um, as I mentioned before with Google Analytics we we will know all of that information and do you actually know what are they using are they finding your um, site through Google um, are they using Google Chrome are they using Internet Explorer any other browser or are they actually finding your site um, finding and or clicking on any link on any um, social media site is that is the social media site taking them to your website is it really helping um, are they using Android or are they using iOS and um, in the few more um, in the future in my presentation you will you will know how important it is to know if it is uh, if, if they are using Android or if they're using iOS um, if you are getting enough visitors in your website a lot um, from different countries and then then you are actually achieving the goal for your website okay um, the first thing we need to do right here is actually to create a Google Analytics account and um, for that we will need to go to the next link which is analytics.google.com by going there um, it will take you to a sign-in page that will ask you for some personal information well not personal but information about your website and uh, we'll see a form like this Obviously, the form will be in English. I'm sorry, it was actually in the screenshot. It's, it's in Spanish, but it will have. Um, it will ask you to create an account um, and to enter the information of your website, which will be the name of the account, the name of your um, website, which is really important the URL of your website so that Google Analytics can access your website and get uh, and get the information that it actually needs to generate the reports and 
well that some of the information that um, Google Analytics will be asking for then after it is really important to know that Google Analytics will be linked to your website um, through a code um, most likely using JavaScript and that code you will need to insert the code and in, um, inside of the head tags in HTML um, you will get the, the the code from Google Analytics and all you need to do is actually to copy and paste the code into your HTML page um, if you don't want to use the code um, then um, you can use actually a, a plugin to to link your your site all right um, I will I will explain five or of the types of information that you can get from um, Google Analytics and the first one will be the real time and what it is is actually as the title states it, it actually helps you to know how many visitors you have in real time um, whenever you are watching the the report um, if there are one or two um, at the same time that we're checking the reports um, the number two will be the audience and the audience will show you um, how how many people is actually visiting your site um, where are they from the devices they're using if they're using a phone if they're using a tablet or or if they are using actually a computer it will give you information about how many and and how are your your uh, or where are your visitors uh, from um, the number three will be the acquisition and um, the acquisition is related to um, the the sites that are kind of um, suggesting your website uh, for the users to visit um, for example there are some blogs or videos or even media that shows the link of your website so whenever you click on any image uh, in another uh, commercial or website it takes the the users directly to to your websites in here you will be able to know if there is any channel sending your um, visitors to your website and what are those sites recommending your page um, this is really important you will be able to know if if users are visiting your site um, because they were in Pinterest for example and then if they clicked on any image and they they were sent to your website or if they were in Facebook and then they found a commercial and then they clicked it and uh, that link um, took them or can actually take them to, to your website that information will be available on the third part which will be the acquisition part the number four will be the behavior and um, this is regarding uh, or it actually talks about the experience that the users are having in your website what they actually do um, the sequence of pages they actually visit if they go to the home page and then to the gallery or if they visit the gallery first and then they go to buy any a specific item you will be able to get that information on this part and how long it is really important to know how long are they actually staying in any specific site if they spend more time in the gallery if they spawn, spend more time trying to buy a specific product yourself um, you will be able to get that information from there and the number five will be the conversions which will be the goal of using Google Analytics in Google Analytics you will be able to set goals and uh, for example sales or um, you can you can say I want a hundred visitors to see my page in one week for example and that way making goals you will be able to analyze 
what are the things that are um, helping users to find your website and that well that way you can actually use that method to achieve your goals for example if you notice that um, your um, clients or your visitors are actually getting to your website um, when they're using Facebook then you should know that you probably need to pay commercials in Facebook so that you can increase your audience and the number of visitors on your website um, as you can see right there on the second image um, right here um, there is an option to ask Google Analytics for a specific reports um, what was our um, the trend session by age or what is the age of visitors um, what is the country they're visiting um, what are the items they're looking for what um, what they actually typed in the browser so that they could get into my website well um, basically these are the uh, five um, we can say sections of Google Analytics and um, it's just a little explanation of, of the importance of using Google Analytics if you want to find more about how to use it and the tools and how to link it to your to your um, website then there are some important resources if you go to the link that I showed um, at the beginning there you will find some trainings and some information uh, about how to how to use it and that will be it for my presentation I hope you enjoy it and um, well see you later